So there's around 23 million homes and businesses in the UK which are currently heated by natural gas. And to put that into perspective, heat accounts for around one third of the total carbon emissions in the UK. So to decarbonise heat, we really need to be innovative in our approach. And that's where High Deploy makes its entrance. So High Deploy is a truly groundbreaking project with the objective of blending up to 20% hydrogen in the current gas infrastructure with minimal disruption to users. So Kiel is really a perfect place to conduct a first of a kind demonstration. It's like a little town on gas. There are around 100 domestic users in Kiel and we also have 20 faculty buildings which include office blocks. Currently in the compound, this is where all the exciting technical work takes place. Um, so we are producing the hydrogen on site with an electrolyzer and the main principle here is we are using electricity to break down water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is vented into the atmosphere um, and the hydrogen is stored in a vessel which we call the buffer tank. We also have a particular unit here called the grid entry unit which is where we blend the hydrogen and the natural gas. So the natural gas comes in from the gas network, it's then mixed with the hydrogen from the buffer tank and goes through a system of pipes to make sure it's the right composition before we send it out into the Kiel network. So there are numerous ways that we can make sure the project is safe during its life cycle. We have equipment located both on the compound and closer to consumers to make sure the hydrogen blend is of the right quality. We've also been doing on-site testing of appliances and double checking that with laboratory testing. And we've also been looking at the materials and assets we have both in our homes and in the gas network. My initial thoughts about the trial were that I was just really excited uh, to be a part of it. Um, anything I can do to help Kiel's reach its sustainability goals I think is fantastic. I know that some people had some concerns about safety but I know that Kiel and Cadent did all the checks that were necessary which was involved in you know, changing, uh, checking my boiler for any issues there. Um, but we've got the results of the project in now and we're moving into phase two so it was clearly it went, went well. From a resident's perspective, it involved very little for me. Um, because this project made use of the existing infrastructure that Kiel already has, I had to do very little. I was had to make myself available for boiler appointments and checks. Um, but other than that, it had no impact on any of the appliances that I have or my heating. I just got on with what I was normally doing and it happened. It was great that this trial took place at Kiel because it really allowed us to develop this idea of using the Kiel campus as a living lab to trial new sustainable innovations. It also allowed us to integrate these new sustainable energy systems with new areas of research for us and also into our education. So a lot of our students were really interested in, in the project. So I think being at a university campus just allowed us to, to really sort of make the most of all of these different parts of what we do. And of course, the other thing is, you know, this was the first time in the UK to blend hydrogen into a live gas grid. So as, an, as a university, it was really groundbreaking. So one of the benefits of, of hydrogen and blending hydrogen into the gas grid is you can start sort of decarbonisation of your heating systems with no disruption. And so that is a clear benefit. But what we also found, because of all of the communication to residents about the, the benefits of the trial, that there was a real increase in awareness of the environmental impacts of their heating systems, which some residents really said they hadn't thought about before. And so what we saw was an overall increasing environmental awareness in some residents and also some changes in behaviours in terms of how they were using heating as well. During the project, we've conducted a lot of research on various aspects of the project, including materials testing, uh, gas appliances, and the characteristics and behaviour of, of blended gas. Uh, and the learnings from this show that hydrogen blended gas is just as safe as natural gas is today. We can say safely that the appliances we use in our homes would be able to operate safely on a blend of up to 20% hydrogen.